Edmondson County High School won a $50,000 award today. They received the first annual Fight Like Dylan Award, named after a high school student from Columbia, Tennessee, who lost his battle to cancer. WBK's Michael Gossam tells us about a young man who inspired her football team to achieve success. Jacob Irwin, a boy of fall who ended up inspiring. But our kids really were inspired by the story of it because, I mean, he continued fighting. Uh, he was at prom. He was at graduation. And uh, he fought through a lot of things that a lot of people didn't know about. He, he brought us all together, definitely. I mean, especially this year. And it was, it was like every time we always got down or something, we'd always think about him and bring us back up. We always want to work harder. Edmondson County High School won the first annual Fight Like Dylan Award for succeeding in the face of adversity. That means everything to me, knowing that Erwin can get something like this for us, knowing how bad he would want this if he knew this war was out. He's probably up in smiles right now. The award is named after a young man from Columbia, Tennessee, who lost his battle to cancer. And those on the selection panel saw the way the Wildcats rebounded after seeing a teammate fight cancer. He was an uh, impact on all of us. He would uh, come into the field house, just make everybody laugh, smile, everything. Just... Uh, Really knew how to cheer us up. Jacob fought with cancer for nearly a year and then succumbed to the disease late in July. The first day of school this year was his funeral on his hallowed grounds, the football field. Words really can't describe the way we felt. Uh, it was hard on us. But, uh, team come together and we pushed through it hard. And did they ever push harder, reaching their first undefeated regular season in 35 years? and first district championship in 25 years. And, you know, our kids will tell me now, you know, when they were in the huddle and, and talked about Jacob, you know, what Jacob did quit. You know, Jacob would, Jacob would have done this or Jacob would have done that. And uh, when kids are talking that during the middle of a game, uh, it's kind of inspiring to listen to. But. And it's inspiration that will live on for the next boys of fall. In Brownsville, Michael Gossam, WBKO. Those on the selection panel included former Indianapolis Colts coach Tony Dungy and Cleveland Browns quarterback Colt McCoy.